Joining us right now is Dr. James Warren, or Jim. Jim, good to see you. Pleasure. Thanks for being with us. So let's talk about your Kavli lecture. It's titled, The Materials Genome Initiative and Artificial Intelligence. We'll tackle the MGI portion first. Materials Genome Initiative was launched a little more than six years ago. So what's the purpose of the MGI? And what are some of the significant accomplishments that have been made in the last six years? Yeah, I got it. Um, so the purpose of the MGI is really to accelerate the development and discovery and design of new materials for insertion into manufactured products in, in twice or twice as fast. Um, and uh, doing that while holding costs at a specific le level. Uh, the way that we're doing that is through the creation of a materials innovation infrastructure mm -hmm. to, to achieve those goals. Um, in terms of significant accomplishments, there are far too many to list all of them. Uh, all of the agencies have been working uh, to try to help create this infrastructure by setting up various centers to develop new capabilities as well as uh, data sharing infrastructures, uh, uh, information systems, analysis, and of course applications in artificial intelligence. Now you'll specifically be talking about the MGI as it relates to artificial intelligence. Right. Recap your talk for us and tell us how important is machine learning and AI to delivering on the promise of massive amounts of data that's available. That's right, and so you know, when we first kicked off the MGI, the application of AI and machine, of the MGI, the application of AI and machine learning was mostly a, a hope. In other words, the question is how much data is available. Mm. Um, there were some specific projects that really were focusing on amassing large amounts of data, but now we're really creating a way for people to share m a great deal more data, and we're now seeing a numerous success stories where people are using these approaches, creating new models using artificial intelligence, and then discovering new materials with improved properties. Now, Dr. Warren, yeah. you touched on this. One of the goals of MGI is to accelerate the pace of discovery and then the deployment of advanced materials. Why is that important, and what are some of the techniques being deployed to do just that? Well, you know, the typical time for uh, between discovery of material and it actually showing up in a manufactured product could be as much as 20 or 30 years in a lot of times. Yeah. Um, and so there was this understanding that you really needed to more tightly couple um, the de development of a new material with the design that you were building of a product. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're making a new smartphone, you'd like to have a new kind of screen designed to work with that smartphone as you're designing it, or a smartwatch, or, or whatever it is that uh, you're trying to make, whether it's electronics, or uh, aerospace alloys, or uh, you know, silicon chips. You know. MGI crosses a number of agencies, mm -hmm. far more than obviously we, we, we can list, but what are some of the benefits of working across agencies sure. like that? Well, precisely. Um, the point of an initiative is to get the agencies to work together synergistically. Mm. So each agency in principle has its own mission. My own agency, NIST, right, standards and technology. Um, so we focus a lot on data issues, but then you have the National Science Foundation, for example, that are funding individual grants uh, to, for in more basic research, and you have Department of Defense, obviously applications in national defense. And all of these agencies are coming together pursuing their own missions, but at the same time, we're communicating much more tightly, developing the infrastructures, and then sharing those infrastructures amongst each other. And so the collaboration has been really strong, uh, particularly NIST, NSF, Department of Energy, and Department of Defense, uh, with other agencies participating as well. Absolutely fascinating yeah. topic. If someone out there is listening, an individual organization, and mm -hmm. wants to become involved, with the Materials Genome Initiative. How do they go about doing that? Well, so there are a number of ways they can get involved. Uh, probably the simplest one is drop me a line um, and I will try to hook them up because the, the issue really is how do you find out what's going on? There's so much across all of the agencies. Uh, we have a newsletter. Uh, it's very, you know, we don't send a lot of in things out so you don't get spammed too much. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we have a lot of meetings, essentially, where we inform people about the existence of various infrastructures, um, and hopefully we can get them to use them more and accelerate their own research. Dr. Warren, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Appreciate this.